Hi, I'm Bryce and uh, welcome. I'm in Alexandria, Virginia with Rock and Romeo and today we're working on a 2022 Tesla Model Y from the Fremont plant. And what happened here is this uh, near tire was cut, the sidewall was cut on a curb or something or a pothole, something like that. And this customer needed a, only a single tire and there is no jack or any spare with this vehicle. So what we're going to do is leave the vehicle on a jack stand and I'm going to take the wheel away, I'm going to go get a new tire mount and bounce on that wheel and return to the customer's site and uh, replace that wheel. And actually we're going to move the, um, the new wheel is going to be on the back here. But this is to show you the setup. Uh, some of the Tesla Model Ys, uh, 2022 Model Ys, are going to have uh, air ride suspension. This vehicle does not have that. This is a McPherson strut. If you have the other kind with air ride suspension, you're going to go into the interface, you're going to sit in the vehicle, and you're going to place the vehicle in jack mode. If you can't find jack mode in your interface, this is probably, it probably means that it's a McPherson strut uh, style suspension, and this is what you're going to see in your wheel well, if that's the case. With this particular vehicle, there is no need to put it in jack mode. There's no possible possibility, there's no way to put it in jack mode. It doesn't really apply here. So uh, now we'll move on to the setup. This is uh, just a basic uh, service jack. This is a uh, run-of-the-mill, uh, kind of a smaller jack, and um, it's fully extended at the moment. But what's special about this job is the puck that you see under there. That's applied to the lift point on the Tesla. And this is a special kind of puck that's... Um, I have a variety of, of uh, pads that I use for different vehicles, different applications. This one's a little bit different. This is very rigid. The other ones that I use are more uh, pliable, like the tire, and like the rubber in a tire. Um, but this one is... is solid. It's, uh, it's not as pliable. This red o-ring that you see on there is a nice feature. This allows me to, when I push it up into the lift point on the Tesla, that o-ring keeps it in place. It'll stay put so you don't need three hands to try and try and juggle things or try and uh, you have to worry about how you're going to get your setup done. It's not awkward. You just stick it up there. It stays put and then it, it's applied right against the bottom of the puck. is applied right against the saddle on the uh, on the service jack, and um, I only lifted it from the front jack point, and you're, you're going to use one jack point to lift the entire side of the vehicle. And then back here, I've used the second puck that I'm using today, and um, just a simple uh, jack stand there. It's a very low setting. Lifting it from the front jack point was enough. Uh, there certainly uh, was more clearance below the tire at the front, but there was enough tire at the back and that that counts I was able to get the back tire off no problem it did clear the ground from working from a single jack point and I'm gonna uh, switch the wheels around I'm gonna put the good wheel on the, on the front in this case and put the brand new tire on the back and um, I'm gonna leave this vehicle on site on this jack stand uh, these pads um, come in a set of four and here's the brand that I use. You don't have to use this brand. There's several competing brands, and they're probably all pretty good. And I've got my torque wrench ready to go. I believe the spec on the Model Y is 129, 129 foot-pounds. But that's um, that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to need to know to get this uh, to get this done. Uh, here's your setup once again. And uh, uh, thanks for watching, and good luck.